Inside a classroom of the historic Myrtle Beach Colored School Museum and Education Center, dozens packed the room for the Black History Month program. After giving out awards to the winners of an art and essay contest, the group honored Mary Catherine Canty. And I cannot think of any better person to be recognized and be honored than her. I never thought I would see a day like today. And this is just a great honor for my family and me, everybody. Born in 1933, Canty grew up in a time when a black woman would not be honored on this level, but times have changed. Canty, along with others, were instrumental in recreating the colored school she once attended and turning it into a museum. I get emotional, and, but I'm thankful. I'm so thankful to the mayor and council and the citizens of Myrtle Beach. Canty's oldest daughter, Martha, made history in 1965. She and three others were the first to integrate Myrtle Beach High School. I wasn't too worried about it. But I was scared. <laughs> I didn't know what they would do to my baby. It was, it was a challenge, you know, and the first three months was scary, you know, because of the way you were treated, you know, all of the just bad things that were said and done to us. But we were determined that we were not going to give up, so we weathered the storm. Paving the way for celebrations like this one and a one-of-a-kind honor for her mother. In Myrtle Beach, Lisa Edge, WPDE News Channel 15.